Okay, the module 10 lab activity about refraction. This is actually surprisingly straightforward. This is not a very difficult um, lab activity to do. The interface, the simulation itself is not very complex. There's just not that many moving parts, as it were. So, uh, of course, you click your begin. What you're going to see is you're going to see a beam of light. And here's the, the little dot is the source of the light. And the light is traveling, and it hits an interface between air and water. And a travel, it can either be reflected or it can be what's called refracted. So some light bounces off of the interface and goes off in this direction. And some light actually goes through the interface and then moves through the water. And that's probably the most important thing for you to understand in this activity. And it's try, I try to define it right off the top is you have to understand what angle of incidence is. You have to understand what the angle of refle reflection is, and you need to understand the angle of refraction. And in order to understand that, you have to understand what's called a normal line. This line that is perpendicular, remember, here's the interface. Here's where the air and water meet. This normal line is perpendicular to that interface. And you measure your angle of incidence, your angle of reflection, and your angle of refraction. All of those are measured from the normal line. So for example, my light is coming in this way. Its angle of incidence is measured from this normal line. So it's around 29 degrees, 28, 29, something like that. You can see these little, little dash marks. Each little dash mark is one degree. This is the angle of reflection. Again, also measured from the normal line. And finally, the angle of refraction is measured from this normal line to my refracted light. Okay.